What's up everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to do some more speed trials. I put this boat up for sale and I get a lot of questions about how fast does it go. Well, this is not a fast boat. So I get all types of comments about their buddy's got a 40 horse and it does 5,000 miles an hour and uh, it's on a 10 foot uh, aluminum John boat and your boat should be able to go 600 miles an hour and all types of things, right? So sometimes I get, you know, some, some good feedback. Sometimes I just get crazy responses. So anyways, I want to try to see what is the most speed I can get out of this. But first of all, um, I use this boat for fishing. It's set up for fishing. I don't go duck hunting. I don't you really use it for uh, like what you see other videos from mud boats. Like I'll see these things going through very shallow um, water with a whole bunch of mud. They're wide open with their motor. They're running over trees and all types of stuff. Motors bouncing all around. That's not me. I use it to get into shallow fishing areas. So yep, I'll get into some mud. But I'm not beating on this thing. I'm not trying to go super fast. I'm not racing anybody to a hole. So weight has never been a concern for me. But I do have this thing set up pretty heavy. Um, I've got all the things on here that I want. That makes my trips a little more um, a little more fun, a little more, uh, it's just specific built for me. So I take away from top end, but never really been a problem. So anyways, um, let's go over what I got on here and how I'll set this up to be like other mud boats and do a little more testing to see what speed we can get out of it. Here's what I'm going to do to set my boat up like I was going out duck hunting, right? So you never see an anchor assembly like this on a traditional duck hunting rig so i got a 40 pound anchor here that's a little bit excessive quite a bit of weight i want to take this off i'll take off the anchor assembly also you don't see a whole lot of trolling when people go out duck hunting so i'll remove the trolling motor that should kind of start setting up the bow to be a, a lot lighter and more like a traditional duck hunting rig so i think that'll make a better comparison Underneath here, I've got my six gallons of fuel and my foot controls for the trolling motor. I'll remove the foot controls, obviously keep the, keep the fuel. Next, let's talk batteries. I am sporting two Group 31 AGM batteries, both brand new. These things weigh just over 70 pounds a piece. When I see these, uh, these mud boats doing duck hunting, they usually just have one battery, maybe two. Uh, a normal size Group 27 battery is in the heavy side of the 40 pound range. So I'll ditch one of these and that should kind of have us more in an equivalent ballpark. Lastly, let's talk prop and what we're running here. So my previous video was me replacing this. This prop came on the boat, a uh, two blade prop. I don't know what the pitch is, but you know, it was pretty worn down. So it was, it was time to put another prop on here. This is the Gator Tail 37 horse motor. What I have on here is the Merc Rapid Prop. So let's make some uh, configuration changes, make it more like it is set up for duck hunting, and we'll go from there. got one battery out I want to leave the one for the motor back in I'm gonna go ahead and put the covers back on I was gonna leave them off for the video just so you can see there's no trickery with the batteries like I don't put a smaller one in there or whatever but it is raining out I don't want these to fill with water with the covers off so I'll put the covers back on we are now in duck hunting mode I ditched that battery, so we still have one minus the other. That's over 70 pounds of weight savings back here. Um, those Group 31 batteries, they are 100 cranking amp hour, so I still have 100 hours in reserve, quite a bit. Anyways, moving forward to the anchor, ditched the 40 pound anchor, so that's 110 pounds. 
for simple math we ditched the anchor assembly let's call it 20 pounds it's not quite that heavy at all maybe more like 10 or 15 so let's say 130 pounds let's call the trolling motor assembly 20 pounds that wasn't that heavy but we'll call it 20 pounds so let's say 150 pounds in weight savings just by removing those couple of things that duck hunting rigs typically don't have Last time I created a speed video, I had a 22 mile an hour top speed. Took a long time to get there, but I also had three of my kids with me. We'll call that total weight 350 pounds. It's like two adults. So at this point, I have removed 500 pounds from the boat. Um, that's quite a bit. So we'll see how that changes the performance. Um, I still weigh about the same and I'll be piloting. video we're getting uh, 27 miles per hour to 27 and a half miles per hour uh, that was within a reasonable time frame you know I didn't sit there and let it run for a mile or two I just kind of brought it up to where it stabilized I did this with and without my daughter in the boat so I was early on estimating without uh, the kids that I brought last time plus the uh, additional gear I was thinking I had removed about 500 pounds with her let's call it 400 so without um, all that weight, so we're removing 400 pounds and getting 27 and a half miles an hour. So uh, good to know that you can add 500 pounds to the boat and still get 22 miles an hour. Some of the things I did notice was I was running at about 4,000 RPMs when I was hitting 27 miles an hour. So it looks like there's probably a little bit more in her because she'll rev up to about 45, 4,700 is what I was noticing. Today is the first time I was able to run the boat with the tachometer, so things just never worked and I replaced it. Um, but it was good to get those stats today. So anyways, I'm gonna bring this thing home, wash it out, put it back up, do some additional greasing and whatnot, and call her good. Thanks for watching.